it's just it doesn't seem like the testing is working guys if you're spending time making tests or you're orienting things towards making tests that is necessarily programming time that isn't being spent doing something else like programming is zero sum if my my feeling on tdd is pretty much the same as my feeling on oop right the problem is not if you end up with an object that or something that looks like an object in your code in oop that's fine the problem is the object oriented part the like thinking in terms of that wastes a lot of your time and leads you to bad architecture i think tdd is the same way i think testing is very good but test-driven development, meaning forcing the programmer to think in terms of tests during development, like that is what your primary thing is, is I'm making tests to drive the development, the TD part. That's actually the problem. I think the reason for that's pretty straightforward. Uh, and it's kind of weird because usually the people who advocate for TDD are the same people who would poo-poo any similar suggestion, like any suggestion that like, oh, we should measure performance during development. They'll be like, that's ridiculous. You're wasting so much program time. We're like, what about the 8,000 tests that no one ever needed because we ended up deleting that system anyway? And they're like, well, you know, test driven development is very good. So I think like the problem with all of those sorts of things, any of them, is just putting emphasis on something instead of talking about it like what it really is, which is a trade-off. If you're spending time making tests or you're orienting things towards making tests, that is necessarily programming time that isn't being spent doing something else. Like programming is zero sum. If you spend time doing one thing, you're not spending time doing another thing. And so, for example, if you end up spending a lot of your time making the interface revolve around tests, you weren't spending a lot of your time making the interface revolve around actual use cases because actual use cases don't usually look like tests. Therefore, sometimes you get the exact situation that Prime was talking about, where you do test driven development and you end up with a completely unusable mess, which is actually very common in my experience, right? I wouldn't so, call it a mess. You know, I, I write pretty good. God, I mean, it was, it was like pretty dizzy. I just want to no, say. No, the API. The API is a mess. Not the, not the code, right? Like, the code has been okay, tested okay, and it okay. probably works, but the API is a mess, right? I mean, that's what happens. Uh, because it wasn't designed specifically for the kinds of use cases it was meant to tackle. And so you end up with that problem. And again, it was shifting the developer's focus was all it took to make that happen. Good APIs are hard to make in the first place, right? So if you're adding more complexity to the programmer's workflow when they're trying to make an API that's good for the, you know, the actual use case, you're just going to get a worse result. Again, zero sum. So what I would say is like testing is better something that you do as the thing takes shape. When you're like, okay, we now have figured out like how this system works properly. We're really happy with it. The API is working nicely. We check the performance and we think we've got like reasonable, we've got a reasonable path towards having this perform really well. Now let's start seeing what are the, what is the overlay? Like what are the parts we can now start to add some little substrate to to test that we think are gonna have bugs that will be hard to find. Cause that's usually the way I look at it. Like what are the parts of this system whose bugs will be either very hard to find or really catastrophic? Like they'll cost us a lot of money or they'll crash the user's computer or whatever, right? And then you put the tests for that, right? And that's how I've always approached it. And I think that works pretty well. And uh, you do want to do that step, but I don't think you want test driven development. It just seems like a really bad idea. And to be honest, when I use software that comes from people who are like TDD, this organization, CD, whatever, it's full of bugs all the time, right? Like I'm not getting these pristine <laughs> software things. I mean, I'm, I would imagine that the people at YouTube do a lot of testing and code reviews. And yet for the past eight years, the play button cannot properly represent whether something is playing or not for eight years, right? Sometimes it's paused and it has the play thing. And sometimes it's playing and it has the play thing. And, and sometimes both of those times it shows the pause thing. It's just, it doesn't seem like the testing is working, guys. So again, I'd say, you know, I think you have to kind of rethink how you're allocating that time. That's what I would say.